7 and 8. And there's Jim Richards, lead driver for the JPS team, and he's starting to close the gap on Peter Brock in car 05. And Brock is in third position, Richards in fourth. Still about 5.7 seconds, the gap from Alan Grice back to George Fury. So Grice able to maintain that, uh, that gap, although it was out over six at one stage. But with a lot of uh, eating away at that gap, keeping in mind they've got uh, 28 or so laps still remain. They had some problems with these BMWs last weekend and they had problems again yesterday and on Friday for what little practice time they had with the uh, brake disc caliper rubbing on the disc itself and then inducing plenty of heat which gave them uh, awful brake fade problems. They claim to have now rectified that. So Alan Grice leads round two of the Shell Ultra Australian Touring Car Championship very, very comfortably and is leading away well on lap number 35 out of 60. Second spot. Still held down by George Fury. Third is Peter Brock. And, of course, back behind Brock is the rapidly approaching Jimmy Richards. Glenn Seaton is next. And then, of course, uh, Larry Perkins, Colin Bond, and the Alpha 75 Turbo, the Caltex entry. Not having uh, the best of weekends. Colin has found the car uh, still has a lot to give. It's not giving too much here today. Well, he's back in 13th position at the moment and already been dispensed with by Peter Brock and Jim Richards and of course race leader Alan Grice has put a lap on him. They had fuel filter blockage problems yesterday and they thought that would have solved all their problems. It obviously hasn't. The Caltech, Caltech entry needs some more work. But Jim Richards, isn't he working hard on the back of Peter Brock at the moment? Other information is that uh, quite some laps ago, Gary Scott very quickly pulled off the circuit and took car number six and second mobile dealer team entry into the transporter. We don't know what the problem is there. He's just vanished. So Brock flies the mobile flag solo at the moment. And I think he's about to be dusted off by Jim Richards. And look at Richards and the braking ability of this M3 up on the outside of Brock. Tries to steal some road from him. A very hard way to do it. But he gets power to the ground very quickly in the little BM. Now this is a very interesting test. He's got the inside advantage, but it puts him on the wrong side of the road when they get to Coca-Cola. And in theory, Brock should have the horsepower. <laughs> Brock enjoying this. I'm sure he was almost waving at Jim as they went down the back sweeper. These guys went to multiple James Hardy victories in the 70s. Separate teams now, and no love lost at all. Look at Brocky glancing in the rear view mirror. It's a big eyeful of car number three, the JPS BMW M3. Perhaps the most impressive new car in the series this year certainly the only one to have actually shown uh, what it can do. And they're developing the car all the time. They've spent a lot of time out at Amaroon Park in the lead up to this series with Frank Gardner and test driver Ludwig Finnaber. But they have been working very, very hard and it's obviously paying off. And Jim again up on the outside will see a carbon copy manoeuvre, get shoved out wide, has the inside for the next long, slow right hand kink. Brock should have the horsepower again and it'll all happen once more. We'll follow this closely. I'm really sure they were having a conversation last time they went down here. Brocky having a look out the window. Says, that's your best kit. You need some more. Well, Jim's in the left-hand drive spot and Brocky in the right, so they're pretty close. Now Richard's using the braking ability of this car very nicely. If he can get this manoeuvre, he's done it nicely. But no, <laughs> drops the right rear into the gravel. Bit of rally crossing and we'll have to go back to the drawing board once more. He's having a terrific scrap here. Well, I thought he was going to stay on the outside that wasn't the spot to stay oh, but, yeah, close but Jim is just filling the mirrors for Peter Brock and he's desperately trying to get the inside run up here Brock is not going to move offline Brock goes for it again Richards is going to take a very deep hard breath here and go in almost uh, tick if he can snatch that line from him and ultimately take some road off him and really jam Brock's nose into the inside of the corner, he'll get away with this because then he can cover his tracks coming out. But at the moment, he's always going to have Brock as a nightmare as they come up to the left-hander at Coca-Cola because he's got the inside running. And he's just got a couple of extra miles an hour. There they go again. Door handle to door handle. Round two. Well, this time he's got room. If he can just close that gap, I think he has very successfully. So Jim Richards up a slot using every centimetre of the road well, what a fine performance from him up to third place.
A genuine giant killer act from uh, Jimmy Richards here today at Simmons Plains.